What's up, my name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another quick video. In this video, I'll show you how to set up and run a node script as a Windows service. Basically, it'll start up with your computer and it should appear in your task manager as well as services in this screen over here, allowing you to stop and start it and have it running persistently all the time. So to begin, we need to go ahead and install a specific node module. So I'll open up a new command prompt window and decide if here I'll enter npm install hyphen g node hyphen windows. This is the required plugin that will be running. On top of this, we also need to make a new script in the same directory as our actual script that we want to run as a service to actually set up the service. With this, I've got a folder over here with a project inside of it that I'll be using. I'll make a new JS file called service.js. It doesn't really matter what this is called. You'll copy and paste the code from the description down below. This code over here. All you need to do is edit the obvious, including name, description, and script. So for the name, I'll call it, say, feed test, as that's the project I'm currently working on. For the description, I'll leave it as is for now. And the script over here, we need to update to the actual path of our script. So I'll copy the text at the top, paste that into here, and replace all of the single slashes with double slashes. Then, of course, finally, the actual name itself. After swapping in everything as that, all we need to do is go ahead and run this service.js script. So you'll need to open an administrative command prompt and then change directory cd to the same place as our script over here. It's on a different drive for me. There we go. So now we need to open up the service script that we just created. So node service. And if you receive an error such as node windows not existing, let's try and install it again. This time without global and running our script once again. This time it works properly. There we go. Doesn't look like anything's happened, but things have happened. If I open up Task Manager with Control Shift and Escape inside of here, you should now see feedtest.exe over here, description feed test, meaning that it worked properly. Awesome. You'll now also notice inside of the projects folder, we now have a daemon folder, and inside of here, we have the actual program as a.exe file, as well as a couple of other files over here. We have an error log, out log, wrapper log, and an XML file as well. The out.log is the file that you'll be looking at to see all of the stuff that would be in the console usually. At this point, your project is now running properly as a service and will automatically start with your computer as long as it's set to automatically start inside of services.msc. So searching for it, you can see start type is set to automatic. So things should definitely be working properly. And whenever I restart my computer, this should start up as well, meaning a project is now running as a service. To uninstall the service, it's nice and simple. We simply need to swap out some text inside of the service.js file here. So I'll call it, say, service uninstall. Then we'll edit the file and we'll simply swap out install for uninstall as well as svc uninstall at the very bottom here. Then we can also remove this here and replace it with console log, say, uninstall complete. At this point, we can save it and when we run it, it'll uninstall our script. So I'm heading back to the same directory. I'll run service uninstall. And you'll see uninstall complete. Opening up my task manager, you'll no longer see my feed service here. And our Windows service has now been uninstalled. Nice and simple. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao.